How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're going over today is another build update on the mobile makerspace. Uh, what we've gotten so far is you'll see that we have all of our 8020 uh, workstations installed. Uh, we've made uh, sliding panels that are held on with these simple little T-handles. Gives them access and storage to safely transport equipment. Uh, what we've done is we've brought part of the design element from the outside in and done all of uh, the design work into the slide panels. Uh, you can see that we have a, the black finish on all of the 8020 shelving along with the, the red gridding. Uh, you'll see that we have interior lighting. Now, so they're all inside each bay above the walkways and then all of the areas that are inside the compartments have a Philips Hue multicolor light that they'll have control over the color so they can mess with that. So one of the big things was no generator. So we have two giant lithium ion batteries that are gonna power our four separate inverters to power the HVAC system and then all of the equipment that's on the vehicle. And we have our four solar chargers. These bring all of the panels um, from up top and they will help augment the charging of the lithium ion batteries. Um, they can charge these batteries uh, by plugging it into a shoreline at night at charging them up or when the motor's running and leave it out in the sun. It'll also help charge the batteries. So the system's been designed to run all the equipment uh, for eight hours, um, not including the solar panels, so they'll get extended life out of that. All of our workstations here, these are fixed. And then on both sides here, we have two different areas. Uh, one is all of the audio video stuff for the TVs. It has the wireless microphones so they can uh, talk to people inside, outside, and tie in all the speakers that are either inside or outside of the bus. Uh, in this side, we have our Philips Hue controller. Uh, we have our network switch, where all of our Cat5 ports that are run throughout that. That's also what they'll be tying their modem into. And then you can see here, we've got some storage, more workstations. We've got storage over this side, some shelving or some portable carts here to move equipment. Uh, there'll also be some toolboxes that'll be getting installed here, along with a whole lot of Milwaukee uh, pack out rolling carts to help move equipment in and out of the bus. Thanks for checking out our build update on the bus. Keep checking back to see final progress videos, hopefully in the next couple weeks. And uh, if you're interested in a project like this or something simpler or something completely different, Hit us up, give us a call, shoot us a message. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be up to date with all of our latest projects.